Your rival at the Garden Club has challenged you to see who can grow the tallest and most diverse flowers. Distributed by Rebel, with art by Bartlomij Kordowski, in this two-player game, will your flowers become overrun, or will your green thumb prevail in harvesting your blossoms? First thing to do is lay out the four different flower pots with the special actions facing up. Place the scorecard next to the flower pots. And give each player the three special action tokens of a color. Shuffle the deck of cards. Deal a flower card face up into each flower pot. If the same flower has already been potted comes up, discard that card and draw a new one. At the beginning of the game, all the flowers want to be different. Reshuffle the discards back into the deck. Discard a card without looking back into the box. It won't be used this game. Then deal two cards face down to each player. The game is now set up. Each player's turn will consist of them first doing the growth action and then any other actions they want until they cut a flower, pass, or have bad luck. The growth action will always start a player's turn. It can be performed more than once in a player's turn if they desire. First, draw a card from the deck. If there is a pot with the same flower, add it to that pot. A flower cannot grow larger than six cards high. If you have to add a seventh, you instead have bad luck. Discard all seven of that flower and end your turn. If it is a flower that hasn't been planted, but there is an empty flower pot, plant the flower in the empty pot. If there isn't a match and all the flower pots have flowers, you have bad luck. Discard the card and end your turn. Once per turn, you can perform the action planned. Add one card from your hand to a pot with the same flowers. You will not draw a new card. Cards can only be drawn with one of the special actions. Once per turn, up to three times per game, you can perform a special action. Place one of your special action tokens on a flower pot. Until your next turn, the flower in the pot cannot be cut by your opponent. During this turn, you can also use the pot's action. The watering can allows you to add any card from your hand to the bottom of a flower, making it one card taller, not to exceed the six card limit. The fence allows you to ignore bad luck once per turn while using the growth action. You will discard the card that caused bad luck, but you can continue with your turn. The rake lets you look at the top three cards of the deck and put them back on top in any order. The pruner lets you add a card to your hand. At the beginning of your next turn, remove the special action marker from the pot and discard it back into the box. You can cut a flower if it has two or more cards on it and take all of those blossom cards and then place them in front of you to be scored at the end of the game. Each cut should be placed in a separate pile for scoring. You cannot join flower sets. This action ends your turn. If 
you are finished with your turn but haven't had bad luck or cut a flower, you can end your turn with the pass action. Play will start with the player who has most recently watered flowers, continuing in turns until the last card is drawn from the deck. The player will finish their turn. If they were the first player, their opponent gets one more turn to make it fair, skipping the growth action that turn. To find the winner, you will add up the scores based on how tall your flowers were based on the scorecard and how diverse your flower bed is. If there's a tie, the player with the most remaining special action tokens wins. If it's still a tie, then it's a tie. You are now ready to play Blossoms. To make the game longer, play three rounds of Blossoms, consecutively with the player getting the fewer amount of points starting the second and then the third round. The winner is the player with the highest number of points over all three rounds. You can add a player in the three-player variant. All standard rules apply, but now each player only gets two special action tokens, and gameplay is played clockwise. An advanced variant allows you to choose between starting your turn with the growth action or with a special action. Just make sure once per turn you take that growth action. Blossoms is an easy to play two player game with a simple premise that is easy to grasp even for younger players. Most board games require three or more players and we're always on the lookout for new games that can be played by just the pair of us. Let us know some of your favorite two player games in the comments. As always, if you like what we're doing, hit that like button. Also remember to subscribe and hit that bell icon to get reminders of our newest videos.